Hi, welcome back to Waxing On. Monday, and of course Monday means jazz, and today we're going to look at a trumpet player who's been around a lot of years. Now, he's not a household name like Maynard Ferguson, Dizzy Gillespie, you know, these kind of guys, Miles Davis, but he's recorded a slew of albums as a leader and co-leader, and a lot of work as a sideman too. I mean, this guy shows up in a lot of different spots. He was a member of Charles Mingus Band in the 70s, uh, Mingus Dynasty as well, some recordings with them, and you never know where he's going to show up. Uh, the fellow I'm talking about, his name is Jack Walrath. I have one album of his, Master of Suspense. Uh, they're classifying him as kind of a post-bop trumpet player. But again, he's I first heard of him, of course, in Downbeat, one of the few places. Most of my uh, musical discoveries came from PBS or Downbeat. And uh, again, not a lot of opportunities to buy his material. He wasn't, again, like a named trumpet player, so I could go into the record store, at the time the record stores, and pick up an album. Very hard to find. But I did see his name showing up a lot in Downbeat, so I thought I'd be curious to check him out. And then now, uh, I really wasn't aware of his past history till now we have the internet and I find out how many bands he's actually played with and how many recordings he's made and it's just amazing. Uh, I got this one because it's kind of a fun album. Uh, Master of Suspense. Give some idea who's playing on it with him. We've got Jack on trumpet and flugelhorn. Kenny Garrett on all the sax and there's a very familiar name for jazz people. Uh, Carter Jefferson on tenor. Steve Turr on trombone. Now. If you've been watching our series, you may remember a couple months ago we featured a, an episode on Steve Turr, and it was pretty well received. A New York trombone player, I think his biggest claim to fame from my standpoint, <coughs> excuse me, is he's been a trombone player for Saturday Night Live for an eternity. I mean, he was still playing this last season, I can't even remember how far back he started. <coughs> I remember Tom Malone in the early years, Somewhere in there, there was a transition. Next thing you know, Steve Turr's there, and they'd, he's just there every week. So, I mean, we did feature him on his own albums. He was on, uh, if you remember, even back further than that, we did one on G. Smith and the Saturday Night Live Band, uh, one of the few recordings they made together, and Steve was on that as well. So, he's showing up on here, backing up a Jack on this one. James Williams, piano, Anthony Cox on bass, Ronnie Barrage on drums, and wait for it. Willie Nelson on guitar and vocals. Come on, here we are with a post-bob jazz trumpet player. Willie's guesting on two tunes, and that was one of the reasons I liked this album. I mean, I just had to check out what he was doing. It was Master of Suspense. Um, all the songs are written by Jack except the two Willie does. We've got uh, Willie's songs are I'm Sending You a Big Bouquet of Roses, and his second one was the Hank Williams uh, standard, I'm so lonesome I could cry. So, talk about unexpected surprises, uh, the juxtaposition of different kinds of music and musicians together, sticking Willie Nelson, who, well, his country has a very different style. I mean, he can do swing, he can do jazz. If you think of a Stardust album where he's doing the, all the old standards, he can pull that off quite easily. So, it really isn't so odd, but it was quite a surprise. So Willie Nelson guesting on the Jack Valrath uh, jazz album. Uh, produced by Jack, again all the songs were written by him, and this was recorded back in 1987. So it's not a new album. When I look at his discography, it's probably somewhere in the middle of uh, what I see as him as a leader. But well worth checking out. Again, a name that you may not be familiar with. Uh, Here's a great chance to discover what he's doing. Streaming networks, uh, digital downloads. If you're lucky enough to get a hold of a hard copy, not a lot of photos, but I'll tell you, man, take a look. You can't see it for the light, but there's a lot of information in there. A lot of background, a lot of stuff that I like to read. And again, you don't get that with the digital, so there's the bonus of hard copy. Anyways, that's it for Monday. Hey, check out Jackson Walrath. You never know what you might find that really tickles your fancy. And for me, this one with Willie Nelson, right up there. Okay, everybody, have a great week. Um, boy, we're almost in the middle of July now, so 
slipping by. Take care of each other, stay safe, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by.